Hey everyone, welcome to this SQL interview series of Data Millennials. I am Atul and in this video we are going to write a query to get a student name and number of students in the same grade. So this question is also kind of a tricky question where you have to get the student name and in front of the student name you have to get the number of students in the same grade. So you can see here that student 1 is in grade A, right? and then in front of a student 1 in the output you have to give grade A and the total number of students studying in grade A. So in these type of questions you can use two options. The first option is that you can use the with clause to get your output and the second option is by using the joins and subqueries. So let's go to our SQL workbench and first of all we'll see the data here. So our data is in student table. So what I'll write is that I'll select star from SQL interview dot student. And now if I run this query, you can see that I have roll number, student name and grade. And the question says that you have to get the student name and the number of students in the same grade. So you have to get the number of student based on the same grade. So what you can simply do is that you can write select grade comma count of student underscore name from this SQL interview student and then you will put group by one okay now if I run this query you will see that you have grade A has nine student grade B has three student grade F has three student now the first option that we mentioned in the starting of this video was that we will use the with clause right with clause okay so we already know that we have this query which gives us the grade and the count and now we have to incorporate this count in front of all of those students right so by using the with clause we can simply merge these two data. So the way we can write the with clause is something like this. We can simply put with and then we will give a name. The way we give alias to a view or a table, we'll simply put with std underscore cnt as a student count. Okay. As and then we will start a bracket. This entire query will work as an inner query for this with clause. Okay, now once we have this with clause, then what we can do is that we can simply write select student underscore name and let's go to our question and see what all information do we require. We need student name, number of a student in the same grade. Okay, so select a student name, comma, grade, comma. And let's put alias to this as number of students. Okay. And then we'll put number of students from this particular table, which was our base table. Okay. And I'll give an alias as A and let's give this student name A dot student name and A dot grade. So what we are taking over here is that all of the students which is present in this table give me the all of the students name and the grades and the number of students within this grade and I will be taking that value from this with a statement. So you can take this std underscore cnt. So we'll put this dot okay as a and then we'll put after this a we'll put comma saying this as b where a dot grade is equal to b dot grade now if i run this query i should ideally get all the students with their name and their grade and the number of a student which we have calculated using this with a statement. So let's run this query. 
okay i'm getting an error saying that unknown column this okay so i have used this alias b here so i have to use b here that is my mistake sorry for that b dot number of students so let's run it again okay now you can see that student 1 grade a total number of students is 9 similarly we had 15 row in our student table and all of those rows are present here with their grade all of those students are present here with their grade and now we can say that in grade a we have 9 students so student 2 is in grade a and then the total number of students in grade a is 9 so this is how using this with clause you can get your output now the another way that we discussed was that by using the joins so option 2 for us is to use joins right in order to use the joins we will do the same thing that we did with this with a student so we'll simply take this entire thing okay and we'll put it over here saying that i need grade and total number of student right similarly i'll take this entire thing from here saying that i need the student and their grade okay so let's remove this one first so the first thing that we will do is that we will simply write select a dot student underscore name comma a dot grade from sql interview dot students which is our table right and we will give an alias as a now if i run this query i will get the entire 15 rows from this table with their grades now what i need to do is that i need to join it based on grade but i need the total number of a student within this grade so what i'll simply do is that i'll put left join and within this left join i'll write a subquery saying select grade comma count of student underscore name as number of student from this SQL interview dot student and then I'll put group by one so this entire left join within this left join this entire query will act as an inner query or as a view and I'll give a name of this view as B and after this left join I have to give a common key on which the join will work so for common key I'll use this grade so I'll say on a dot grade equal to b dot grade now as you can see here above i have written a dot student name and a dot grade but i need to get this number of students also from this view which i have written over here so i'll simply take this number of students here okay and i'll put comma b dot number of the students because this b is the alias of this entire left join now if i run this query I'm getting the same output which we were getting with this first option or the first way that we have written the query using with clause. So all of these students are over here 15 record with their grade and in front of the grade we are getting the total number of a student. So this is how you can use the with clause as well as the joins to get your optimum output in a tricky SQL questions. If you want to learn more about SQL interview questions, you can click on the right hand side of this video. If you want to learn SQL from basics, you can click on the left hand side of this video. Happy learning and see you in the next video.